Hello students, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss a result regarding the join of related elements in a lattice. So the result which I am going to discuss in this video, this is regarding uh, the related elements which you pick up in a lattice, what is going to be their join? This is what we are going to find out. So uh, the result goes like this. If L is a lattice, let L be a lattice and X and Y be any two elements belonging to L, then the result says that if X is related to Y or if X is less than or equal to Y, then this implies that the join of X and Y is Y, which is the element on the right. And the opposite is also true. The converse is also true, which means that if, it, if X join Y is Y, then this implies that X and Y are related. That is X is less than or equal to Y. So both the ways the result is true. So if we are in a lattice, L and if X and Y are any two elements of the lattice L, then the result simply says that uh, if X and Y are related, then their join will be the element on the right. And if X join Y is Y, then X and Y will be related like this. That is X is less than or equal to Y. So in a way, uh, this, this statement implies and is implied by the statement on the right hand side. Or in other words, we can say that the statement on the left hand side and the statement on the right hand side, both these statements are equivalent. So if one holds, the other one also holds. So this is what we have in this result. So now let me uh, prove this uh, result uh, both way implications we are going to show. We are first going to assume that X is less than or equal to Y and we will show that their join, uh, um, the join of X and Y is Y and then we are going to assume that the join of X and Y is Y and we are going to show that X and Y are related that is X is less than or equal to Y. So the first part of the result, the first part of the result goes like this. Let me take firstly X is less than or equal to Y. I'm marking this as one. Now already we know that Y is less than equal to y. Why, 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 why is this so? Y is less than equal to y or in other words y is related to y. Why, why, why is this happening? This is happening because we are in a lattice. L is a lattice and a lattice is a PO set always. And in PO set, reflexivity holds or a reflect, reflexive relation holds. So by that reason, every element is related to itself. So in particular, Y is also related to Y. So this fact we mark as two. So we have two things with us that X is less than equal to Y and Y is less than equal to Y, which means that this Y, which is on the right hand side, this is acting like a upper bound for X and Y because it is greater. This Y is greater than equal to both X and Y. So this Y is acting like an upper bound for both X and Y. Therefore, one and and 2 together give that y acts as an upper bound for x and y which means that y belongs to the set of upper bounds of x and y. The set of upper bounds of x and y is denoted like this that we put x and y in brackets and we write a u uh, as a superscript. So this is the set of all upper bounds of x and y and because y is an upper bound of x and y so y belongs to this set which denotes the set of upper bounds of x and y. This fact we have marked as 3. So this is one thing that we have that Y is an upper bound of X and Y. Now uh, let uh, Z belonging to L uh, be any element uh, which is an upper bound of X and Y. Then we want to find out where is Z placed with reference to X and Y, how X and Y are ordered. Uh, in the lattice L. Now already we know that X is less than or equal to Y. This we already know. Now because Z is an upper bound of both X and Y, th therefore uh, Z has to be greater than both X and Y. So the only possibility is that Z will be on this side. That is X is less than or equal to Y is less than or equal to Z. This is the only possibility that we have. So uh, basically this expression which I have marked as 4, from this expression we have that Z comes out to be greater than or equal to Y or Y comes out to be lesser than Z. You can interpret it like that in a layman language that Z is greater than Y or Y is less than Z. So what do we get from 3 and 4? So keeping in mind 3 uh, which says that Y is an upper bound of X and Y, 4 says that Y is not only an upper bound of X and Y but Y is lesser than any other upper bound Z of X and Y because Z was chosen to be an arbitrary element of the lattice L which is an upper bound of X and Y and Y has come out to be lesser than the Z. This means that Y is lesser than any other upper bound of uh, X and Y because Y is lesser than Z. So there are two things that we have. Y is an upper bound of X and Y and Y is lesser than any other upper bound Z, uh, any other upper bound Z of X and Y. So we can say that Y from 3 and 4, we get that Y is the least upper bound, least upper bound I have written in short, least upper bound of X and Y because Y is an upper bound and Y is lesser than any other upper bound 
uh, of x and y so y is the least upper bound of x and y or y is the supremum of x and y or the notation that we use for supremum or least upper bound is join so y we can say is join of x and y so from here we have that x join y this this uh, fact that we have that x join y comes out to be equal to y so we started with this statement x less than equal to y we started with this statement and we have got the statement in the end that the join of x and y is y which is the element on the right so this is one way implication that we have proved and we are marking this implication as star so one way implication we have already shown and now let me show the converse part that is if join of x and y is y let me show that x and y are related or x is less than equal to y so conversely let me just suppose that x join y is equal to y now when i'm saying x join y is equal to y this simply means that y this is the least upper bound of x and y because x join y means least upper bound of x and y or supremum of x and y so y is the least upper bound of x and y or supremum of x and y now this is the short form of uh, least upper bound as i have already used uh, this uh, notation so uh, y because y is the least upper bound of x and y so definitely y is an upper bound of x and y because y is an upper bound of x and y so y in a way in layman's language you can say that y is greater than equal to x because it's an upper bound of x and y so y is greater than uh, both x and y so in particular y is greater than equal to x or in other words writing this in equality in a reverse manner we can say that x is less than equal to y so basically what do you have you started with the statement x join y is equal to y and you have got that x is related to y so i'm marking this statement as star dash <coughs> so there are two things that you have a star was giving me the implication this way that x is related to y implies x join y is y and star dash was giving me the implication the other way that is if x join y is y then this implies x is less than equal to y so star and star dash together if we take both way implications we get that x related to y implies that the join of x and y is the element on the right and if x join y is y then x is related to y or x is less than equal to y so this is the result we wanted to establish uh for uh, related elements in a lattice so if one statement holds then the other one will hold if any one of them holds the other one holds so if there are two elements which are related their join will always be the element on the right and now let me illustrate this result uh, by giving two examples two by taking two examples of lattices and you can just verify that these uh, two statements uh, are holding for uh, related elements so if uh, you uh, consider the first example uh, in which uh, uh, we take a chain uh, and uh, let's say we are taking a chain of three elements and uh, in my earlier video i have already uh, taken up examples uh, of uh, lattices and we know that uh, a chain is always a lattice because uh, in a chain all the uh, mm, we know by definition in a chain all the elements are related to each other and uh, if you try to if you pick up any pair of elements and if you try to find out their uh, supremum or if you try to find out their infimum both supremum and infimum supremum means the least upper bound or the join and if you take the infimum then it means the greatest lower bound or meet so if you pick up any pair of elements in a chain they will always have a supremum uh, or in other words they will always have a least upper bound or in other words they will always have a join and if you uh, they will always have a infimum also or greatest lower bound or a meet so this we have already discussed so a chain always comes out to be a lattice so a chain is a lattice that we know uh, i'm picking up a chain i've picked up a chain with three elements and i'm calling the three elements i've given names to them x y z and uh, if you just compare any pair of elements let's say i'm comparing x and y we know that x is less than equal to y x is uh, down and y is up so x is related to y or x is less than equal to y by this relation and if you take the join of x and y join of x and y means supremum of x and y or least upper bound of x and y then that comes out to be y why because the uh, the upper bound of x and y uh, is y is also acting like an upper bound of x and y z is also acting like an upper bound of x and y but out of the two which one is least which one is smaller it is y so the join of x and y which is the least upper bound of x and y or the supremum of x and y that is y again if you compare y and z y we know is less than equal to z and uh, if you take the join of y and z 
the the join of y and z means least upper bound of y and z there is only one upper bound of y and z which is z so the uh, so this also happens to be the least upper bound because there is only one upper bound of y and z so the least upper bound of y and z or the join of y and z is equal to z which is the element on the right here also you have the join of x and y is the element on the right which is y and again if you compare x with z i have that x is less than equal to z and uh, if you just take the join of x and z which is the least upper bound of x and z that that is z because the, the only upper bound of x and z is z and this is this definitely acts as the least upper bound also or join also so the join of x and z is z so um, um, which is the element on the right so for this chain uh, we have verified that this particular uh, result which we just said that if two elements are related then their join is the uh, element on the right this is this is a holding good for a chain this is for a chain of three elements but in the same way you can check take chain of any number of elements and you can verify this result again uh, uh, if you consider the diamond lattice diamond lattice is m3 m3 by definition is one linear sum three bar linear sum one this one if you draw try to draw, draw the hash diagram of m3 because uh, lattice is a uh, po set and uh, here also because we could draw the diagram of the chain because the chain of course is a lattice but then it is a po set and for a po set we can draw the diagram the same thing uh, goes uh, for this uh, a diamond lattice which is m3 this is a po set and this is a lattice uh, because any two elements if you pick an m3 uh, they always have a join and they have a meet and uh, because it's a po set so we can draw its hash diagram and uh, the hash diagram of m3 looks like this because of this one we have one at the bottom and because of this three bar three bar is an anti chain of three elements we have discussed this uh, in my earlier videos so three bar is these three are the elements the elements of the anti chain and this one this one is at the top and uh, if you join uh, because of this linear sum there will be uh, three lines joining these three elements and because of this linear sum there will be three lines joining this so this is the uh, has diagram of m3 the middle elements which are in the anti chain the, these are the anti chain elements i'm referring to them as x y z and the top element uh, we generally refer to as capital t and the bottom element we refer to as inverted t so this is your m3 and this m3 is uh, often called diamond lattice because of the way it looks now uh, if we just compare this bottom element t with x we find that t is less than equal to x because t is down and x is up and if you take their join the join of t and x means the least upper bound of t and x how many upper bounds this uh, this inverted t this is inverted t how many upper bounds the inverted t and x this bottom element and x has have x is one upper bound of both of them and uh, this top element is another upper bound of both of them but if you are looking for uh, the join of this these two join of these two means the least upper bound the least of them these are two upper bounds this is this x is also an upper bound of x and the bottom element this uh, is also an upper bound of uh, x and the bottom element but out of these two the one which is lesser is x so that is why the um, bottom element join x comes out to be x which is the least upper bound of least of all upper bounds then again uh, and which we can see that uh, the join of uh, the bottom element and x is the element on the right which is x then again if you compare y with capital t which is the top element i know that y is less than equal to t and if you take their join the join of y and t means the upper bound the least upper bound of y and t the least upper bound of y and t is t because this is the only upper bound so the least upper bound of y and t is the element on the right which is this again if uh, we take uh, the if we compare uh, this uh, bottom element with the the top element i know that the bottom element this uh, this inverted t is less than equal to the top element which is this capital t and if you take their join then uh, the the upper bounds of these two elements is this only there is only one upper bound of these two elements which is the top element and therefore this happens to be the least upper bound so the least upper bound of the bottom element the the join of the bottom element and the top element is the element on the right which is the top element so we have we can verify likewise you can verify uh, for any lattice if any lattice is given to us uh, we can pick up any pair of elements and we will find that whenever the elements are related the result which we have just done 
if we are in a lattice and if we pick up any elements uh, those elements any pair of elements which are related we will find that the join of those two related elements comes out to be the element on the right so that was the result regarding join of related elements in a lattice